thought I'd make a more, couple more comments about this tillage radish that I pulled out of the ground. And um, you can see there's several inches that were above the soil surface at this point. Um, and then you can see this was all beneath the soil surface. I'm going to go ahead and remove this. That's where that earthworm was in the last video. Um, and you can see there was several more inches. So um, let's say two, one, two, three, four, five, five to six inches of soil or of radish that was beneath the soil surface. Again, here's my hand for scale. So this is a rather big radish. It went to seed from last year's intentional planting. So this is a volunteer radish. And it's not near any other radishes, not within three or four feet of any other radishes. But what I wanted to point out was um, that this radish has encountered compaction. So you can kind of see how it's turned here. It's no longer straight. And down here, and then there's some very twisted roots at the bottom. So here's one on this side, and then this one is very gnarled and mangled looking. So I'll flip it over. Um, I have a rather... You know, flat side on this back side, kind of a split here in the radish, but again, you can see that. So that is this indicator of compaction. So people often ask about can tillage radishes be used to solve compaction, and my answer is that really I believe all roots are the answer to solving compaction. You know, it's good to have a variety of root architectures, some fibrous, some tap roots some deep roots, some shallow roots, but certainly I do think um, compaction can be alleviated by all roots. Now radishes make some very large um, channels and that's a good thing. With the shrink and swell and freeze and thaw that'll happen, a lot of soil will then fall down into this channel and fill it, but it'll become a, probably less dense than the soil surrounding that hole. So it'll probably be a good channel for a long time to come. There is a good paper that was done by Ray Weil at the University of Maryland that I will put a link to um, soon in the, in the comments box. And uh, they have some um, extension type papers that they have done to summarize that as well. And they, the summary of that was, I believe that paper had radish and rye in it as cover crops and corn and soybean as the cash crops. And they felt that, you know, the old root channels were a good thing, as well as the mulch provided by the radishes as well, and uh, by the rye as well. So, and I, like I said, I'll put that a link to that in the comments box. It was, that was some work done a few years ago. So then, okay, let's talk about radishes penetrating a hard soil. All soils are harder when they are dry, naturally. So I think a good thing is just having you know, cover crops out there that can take advantage of, of the different situations. So if they're growing when it's dry, they probably won't be able to penetrate hard soils, but if they can encounter a hard soil when that hard soil is moist, then I think that they might have a better chance of getting down. And so who knows, uh, maybe that's what happened. Maybe this radish grew for a while in a, in a more wet environment, but I do can tell you that this field that I'm in right here has a history of tillage a long history of tillage and probably a lot of disking as well. So to me it's no surprise that you know in that six to eight inch soil depth beneath the surface that we have compaction you know and potentially some serious compaction. So then the next question that somebody will probably think to ask is okay um, so should we do deep tillage? And my answer is I would leave it alone. I don't think that um, deep tillage is warranted very often unless you have, you know, wheel tracks, um, the, the end rows on fields, um, you know, just places where there's significant amounts of heavy weight where you need to try and get after that deep subsoil compaction. Here, from a tillage pan, I don't think that, um, I don't think tillage is going to probably solve anything and in fact, what could happen? You could put in another layer of compaction. So. Uh, most of the time, I'm not going to recommend tillage unless it's some, you know, extreme example or a very, really heavily trafficked part of a field by, you know, heavy things like uh, semis for hauling grain, things like that. So, with that, I think I'll wrap up and just say that this definitely is a tillage radish, um, and it was in our study. It's I almost hate to show this part, but it was in a large study of no-till cover crops and vegetables 
integrated all into a system. And the vegetables in this system were pumpkins and uh, corn, sweet corn, and also green snap beans.